hello guys i'm gonna be talking about the act of going out alone how to go out alone the importance of going out alone how to feel secure when you go out alone i mean security wise i'm also going to be talking about how to conquer the boredom and the weirdness so in this video i'm going to be helping you conquer all those fears you have i'm actually the queen of going out alone i have mastered the act of going out alone by myself so i've noticed that in this life if you keep waiting for your friends to be in the mood or for them to be available to do the things you have to do you're not gonna do anything no so me i had to take the bold step and to be honest with you guys the more i do it the more i've gotten so so comfortable but before we go into this video please like it because i'm sure you are going to enjoy it leave a comment below are you someone that is comfortable going out alone share this video with your friends subscribe and follow me on all other social media platforms now let's talk about how to go out alone first thing first you have to change your mindset you have to have the mindset of i can be or do anything whatsoever i want to do you have to understand that this is your life and you can do anything whatever you want to do with your life you don't have to be in a box stop being in a box you can create the life you want i believe that life should be enjoyed i don't believe that i have to live a strict boring life i believe that this is my life. This is Seattle's life. Okay, what can she do with her life? What can she create today? What kind of person can she be today? Or how can she make her life interesting? So to me, going out alone is like me being another person altogether. It is fun. It's exciting. I'm coming out of my comfort zone. For you to go out alone, you have to come out of your comfort zone. I keep preaching coming out of your comfort zone because, guys, let me tell you guys something. I used to be very boring. I wasn't this bold before. But trust me, if I can do it, ah who are you that you think that you cannot do it you just have to change your mindset you just have to believe that you can be or do anything you think or you can imagine okay or anything that you think other people can do trust me you can do you can live that same life other thing you need to do is that you just have to stop thinking about it stop overthinking the going out alone just dress up but you know you have to shower first go to the bathroom shower you know put on some perfume some deodorant you have to know that you have to smell nice oh eh you have to ooze nice. You have to smell succulents. <laughs> That's the word. If you're a lady, please wear your makeup, okay? Because makeup helps with your confidence. Put little little makeup on your face. Cover all the blemishes. Cover all the dark spots. Just to help with your confidence. But if you're someone that says, oh, no makeup. I don't want makeup. Please do as you want to. Wear good clothing when you're going out. Don't just look jaga jaga stop saving that your sunday clothes you know some of you guys have have some clothes you guys wear only to church on sundays there's nothing like sunday clothes every clothes should be worn every day because every day you step out of your house you have to look your best self don't go and look oh i'm saving this one for special occasion no every day is a special occasion being alive is enough special occasion so I'm warning you guys, eh? Violence. This video is violence. <laughs> in regards to your clothing, you have to wear something you're very comfortable in. If you're not comfortable exposing your skin, don't expose your skin. If you're not comfortable with, with high pointed shoes, wear the kind of shoes you are comfortable in. Let me show you guys this shoe. You see this shoe? It's so small. It's called kitten heels. Sometimes when I go out, I wear this kind of kitten heels because it is not high. It is very comfortable. Let me show you another one. Can you see the heel? It is not so high. So if you're not comfortable with wearing high heels, you can start with wearing these kind of kitten heels. They are very cute and small. They're going to elevate you a little bit. Heel makes you look more elegant. Okay, don't just look bland when you're going out all right don't go and give the excuse that oh i don't wear heels i cannot work on heels me i wear this one sometimes when i'm not in the mood to be on anything high i wear this kind of shoes another thing is how to conquer the weirdness of going out alone number one you have to wear the armor of confidence you have to fake the confidence no matter whoever that is looking at you just think of it as if as if they're looking at you because they admire you just go and feel insecure. Don't think of it from the angle that, that maybe they're thinking that you came out here to come and do hook up. No. You came out for to have a nice time. And, and you deserve every right whatsoever to come out and have an amazing time. In this world that we are living in, we are all sharing this world together. The same way they came there, that is the same way you left your house to come there. So whatever they are thinking, 
However way they are looking at you is not your business. There's another thing I used to do whenever I go out. If my spirit tells me to leave that place, I leave it. I leave, I leave immediately. I leave the place immediately. I don't used to do, oh, should I just stay back? I have another drink. No. If your mind tells you it's time for you to leave, if you even open your Uber app or you bring out your car key, please follow your instinct and just go. It's time for you to leave. It's time for you to go home or go to somewhere else. Another thing is that when you go out, you must not have it at the back of your head that you're going out to go and meet someone. Okay? Um, have it at the... Why do I talk so fast? I don't know why. My brain thinks so fast. You have to have it at the back of your head that you're just going out to have fun. I'm going to enjoy my life. I'm going to enjoy myself. That helps you not to put too much expectation or too much pressure on yourself. Anything can happen when you go out. You might even go out and meet an amazing person. Not just a man, a lady. I've gone out before that I made amazing connections with some ladies. So it's not a must that you have, you have to think that if I'm going out, I'm going to go and to meet my kidney, the lungs of my soul, my missing bread. No, you're going out to make genuine network and connections. So going out also helps you discover new things about yourself. It helps you discover the kind of person you are, what you like and what you don't like. When you start going out alone, you start getting to know yourself better. You'll be so shocked at so much you're going to discover or know about yourself. When I started going out alone, that was when I started discovering the kind of drinks I like. I lean towards red wine. So most times if I go out, I ask for sweet red wine. And if you don't drink alcohol, there are mocktails. Mocktails are actually cocktails without alcohol. Another thing is going out is not even so expensive. You can save up before you go out. You have to plan your going out. And even when you meet someone for the first time, don't be greedy and you start ordering everything on the menu. So I'm chipping this one in for some people that when they start going out and people start start asking them what they want to have, they will not want to order this. Uh, don't act like a gluten. Don't act as if you've never seen food before. So don't order as if you want to order and eat tomorrow and eat next tomorrow. Order what you know you can eat. Another thing, let me talk about security. Normally when I go out alone, I go to the restroom with my drink. I carry my glass of wine or my glass of whatever I'm drinking, I carry it to the restroom. I don't care. Let the drinks have germs in the restroom that for me to go and anybody can put anything in my drink. Don't trust anybody when you go out alone. You have to protect yourself. You're going out alone, so you have to look after you are safe. All right? Even, even when you're meeting someone for the first time out there, just laugh it off. Okay, I'm coming. You sip your drink. You'll be like, okay, I'm coming. I just want to use the restroom. Excuse me. You just go. <laughs> you carry your belongings and you go. I don't want to hear stories like, Siata, you know, you told us to go out alone. I went out and they stole my bag. They put something in my drink. No. I'm telling you guys everything I do when I go out. Let me do it again. All right? First of all, you make sure you finish your food before you stand up to go. Don't leave your food or your drink on that table so you carry your drink and you act as if <laughs> excuse me i'll be right back okay just just give me a second i just want to use the loo <laughs> you see we style you carry your drink and you go to the restroom when you get there there will be some way for you to drop your drink but the highest thing is that when you come back you can even pour the drink away and when you come back trust me the person the person you are talking with the new person you met we most likely want to buy another drink for you. You'd be like, oh, I just finished my drink on my way. Ah, that drink was actually so nice. Most times, the person is going to buy you another drink. And even if they don't buy you another drink, is it a drink you came to this world to drink? Your safety first before any drink. So when you go out alone, stop giving a rat ass. Stop being shy, okay? Your shyness is not going to take you anywhere. Learn how to dance. Excuse me, learn how to dance. Learn how to move your body. Most times when I go out alone, I dance. I dance as much as i don't even look at anybody's face i stand up and i move my body because it doesn't make sense that when i come out i'll still be bored then i'll go back inside another thing is when you go out alone men tend to walk up to you more they tend to come and say hello hi may i know you please are you from heaven you look like an angel <laughs> so going out alone you know it makes you to meet more people Sometimes, not every time. But most men don't like walking up to you or coming to you when you're in the midst of your friends because they feel like, what if you reject them? Ah, okay. And when you're alone, even if you say no to them, your friends are not there to, to laugh or to make them feel uncomfortable. Another reason is that when you're alone, 
they can afford whatever you want to have that when you're in the midst of your friends and you guys are ordering a lot okay you understand it now yeah <laughs> so going out alone makes you to start loving yourself more it makes you to start discovering yourself better it makes you to start learning how to how to love your own company it makes you to start to start learning how to enjoy your own company okay there are some people that will be like oh what are you what if i go out i'll be so bored how can you be bored with yourself like it just doesn't make sense how can you go out alone with you or you yourself went out alone and you'll be bored why how how can you be bored? There are so many things happening. Keep your phone away from you when you go out. Don't, don't be on your phone 24 seven. Look around you so you can notice people looking at you, people admiring you, people, people, so you can notice people that have been looking at you for a while. Don't just be on your phone. Um. What's that? Eh? Look around you. Even when a man is looking at you, smile back at the man if you fancy him and don't go and walk up to a guy you don't go and walk up to a guy because it's men men are chasers no matter how much the man looks at you even if he looks for 10 years let him look if he doesn't have legs to walk up to you or to send you a drink first before coming to you let him stay there and go home there are so many men in this world don't you ever ever lower your standard and go and say hi i see that you've been looking at me oh do you like me? Do you like what you see? Hmm? <laughs> the guy will automatically think that you came for business. <laughs> so just remain in your feminine energy and let the guy come and say hi to you, okay? So you can be the one. So you can have upper power. That's it. Get it. Anyways, I hope I did not forget anything. If you have any question whatsoever, please leave it in the comment section below. Share this video with your friends and give it an amazing, big, huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you learned something from this video and subscribe and follow me on all other social media platforms i can't wait to see you guys you lovelies you you mamacita papacitas in my next video bye <laughs>